Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Very important topic today, and we have some fabulous dignitaries coming from varied, you know, fields uh, that we have amongst us today. Uh, very important, we have been talking, Jamin Bhai and we, for such a long time, that very critical aspect among the SME growth or SME is HR. HR is you know, everybody, you know, most important, we are dealing with people. Whether they are our vendors, they are our customers, they are people inside the organization, outside the organization, the people are very important. And it, naturally, SME does not have a luxury, luxury so far as the, that structure is concerned, that role and responsibility is concerned, and how do we have that appraisal system, self-appraisal system, growth path, etc., and then leadership it. So today we are going to get a lot of inputs from our you know, senior people on the dais, and thanks uh, Sunil Bhai, who is going to be moderating the session. He's our the expert, not expert, sir, the expert. And certainly we are, we are so uh, fortunate to have Solanki, sir, here today. Uh, and Sunil Bhai, who is the Entrepreneur Development uh, 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 you know, Director General, and Pranav Bhai, who is running how many people? 5,000 at your place? 10,000? They cannot count. You cannot count, imagine. So that's the insight that we want. And certainly, Jaimin Bhai, thank you for initiating the Dr. Jaimin Vasai MA, um, MSME Development Center. So very keen to have insights. I will hand over to Jaimin Bhai to do the introduction, please. Hmm. Thank you, Saman Bhai. Good evening, everybody. My dear friend, Dr. Saman Bhai Gudiawala, President, AMA. Mr. Sunil, Dr. Sunil Parekh, today's key person, a great motivator and moderator, both Dr. Sunil Shukla, Director, EDI, Mr. P. N. Solanki, he is a DFO, MSME, Government of India, rather Deputy Director and Head, and we have Mr. My friend, Pranav Pandya, is a one of the great entrepreneur, promoter of De Dev IT, and also the president of Gesia, Mr. Prakash Bajaji. Uh, he is the founder and CEO of RK Human Resources Management Private Limited. Mr. Unmed Dixit, executive director, member of governing council of Ahmedabad Management Association. Ladies and gentlemen, first of all, thank you, Savanbhai, for being here because he remains so busy every time and he always would like to attend, particularly my function when I am organizing under Dr. Jamin Vasa AMA MSME Development Center along with Ahmedabad Management Association. It is with great pleasure and excitement that I welcome you all for the sixth SME growth series organized by the Ahmedabad Management Association along with Dr. Jamin Masa AMA MSME Development Center on the very pivotal theme, Unlocking Growth and Sustainability, the vital role of human resources for small and medium enterprises. Small, as you all know, small and medium-sized enterprises are the backbone of the global economy and SME employs approximately 110 million people, making them the second largest employer after the agriculture and also SME contribute about 30 percentage of the India's GDP and SME accounts for nearly 48 percent of the country's total exports. However, SME often face number of challenges that higher than the growth and sustainability, unlocking the growth of SMEs is essential for their sustainability and the broader economic prosperity. By improving the access of finance, leveraging the technology, enhancing the skills, creating a supporting regulatory environment, and expanding market access and promoting sustainability practices, we can ensure the SMEs not only survive, but thrive also. Collaborate efforts from government, financial institutions, 
industry associations and the SMEs themselves are crucial to, real, to realizing this potential. Finally, incorporating sustainability into the business practices ensures a long-term viability. Now, let us emphasize the role of human resources. HR is not just about hiring the payroll. It's about developing talent, fostering the positive organizational culture and driving strategic growth. Human resources also play a very critical role in implementing the sustainability practices and fostering the corporate social responsibility. Engaging the employees in these initiatives can improve the company's reputation and strengthen the community ties. With the right support and resources, SMEs can continue to drive innovation, create jobs and contribute significantly to the economic growth. Friends, throughout the series, we will explore during these two days things, uh, the strategies, best practices and challenges associated with leveraging the human resources for unlocking the growth and ensuring the sustainability in SMEs. We are honored to have the esteemed speakers and the learned speak experts like Dr. Sunil Parekh as a moderator and Dr. Sunil Shukla, Shri P. N. Solanki, Mr. Pranav Pandya and Mr. Prakash Bajaji as the learned speakers. They will share the insights, experiences and expertise on this vital subject. Friends, I being MSME, I know what are the problems we are facing. In a day-to-day -day issues, many challenges are there, many problems are there. But we need a good people, we need a good human resources to make sure that they operate the system, they make the company grow only by applying the right practices at the right time. I would like to here introduce our experts. Let, us, let me introduce Dr. Sunil Parekh, has over 40 years of diverse experiences exceeding in industries, government, academia, entrepreneurship and culture. Notably, he held senior roles in Zydus and Jubilant Group, shaping India's startup ecosystems. Recognized with awards like the National OCND Award, he is committed to cultural initiatives, founding SPI, MACAY in Gujarat and supporting Rohaniyat. His eminence across domains was undiscovered by receiving the Doctorate of Literature Honours, COSA in 2023. I would like to request our President, Shri Savan B. Gudiawala, to felicitate Dr. Sunil Parekh. <coughs> Thank you, Savan Bhai. Uh, as I explained to you, Mr. P. N. Solanki, the DFO from MSME, is presently the Deputy Director and Head of Office of MSME Development and Facilitation Office, Ministry of MSME, Government of India, Ahmedabad. After, after formal education in the field of metallurgical engineering, he worked with the Indian multinational companies on a different positions for about five years. Then he joined Government of India through UPSC in the year 1989 and worked at different places in the country on various positions. He has successfully handled various assignments being, the government of, being in the Government of India and he's actively involved in the development of MSMEs since last 35 years. I request our President to felicitate Mr. P. N. Solanki. Thank you, sir. Dr. Sunil Shukla, Director EDI, is a very well-known well name in the entrepreneurship, is a prominent entrepreneurship educator, SME mentor, academicians, researcher, and policy advisor. 
His expertise includes corporate efficacy, efficiency, startup and SME growth, family business management and youth entrepreneurship education with extensive experience in collaborating with government and corporate bodies he drives skill building and new enterprise creation across the diverse sectors dr shukla has introduced award winning entrepreneurship courses led policy research and heads the india chapter of the global entrepreneurship monitor survey sought after globally for his expertise in institutionalizing entrepreneurship i request savan bhai to felicitate dr shukla <laughs> mr pranav pandya is a first generation tech entrepreneur who has co-founded dev information technology limited in 1997 The company now publicly listed on BSE and NSE is renowned for end-to-end -end tech solutions globally. His deep understanding of local business tech needs, particularly in e-governance, coupled with his innovative problem-solving, has generated him, has garnered him the respect in Gujarat and beyond. He currently chairs. the jc it association and is active in national and state industry bodies like iso da nascom and cii i request savan bhai please felicitate him and our last expert basically we can say that today's hero rather because it is his subject and we are very much excited to listen to him dr prakash bajaji is the founder and ceo of rk hr management private limited an ahmedabad based human resources and recruitment consultant and has more than 14 years experience in providing manpower recruitment executive search and hand hunting services to it and non it clients across india and africa he is providing recruitments of different executive and head hunting search services to reputed corporate entities of different functions and industry domain i request savan bhai to felicitate mr prakash bhai <laughs> friends believe me this event serves as a platform for knowledge sharing networking and collaboration aimed at empowering smes to overcome hurdles and unleash their full potential as we embark on his this journey together i encourage all participants to actively engage themselves exchange ideas and seize the opportunity to gain the valuable insights that can propel your organization grow towards the greater success and i am sure because the way i know these experts if you are very attentive if we give ask them questions you will have the answers of all your issues and all your problems i am thankful to all these experts they have willingly accepted our request to to uh, join this uh, event and on behalf of the amnabal nelman association and dr jamin wasa ama msme development center i extend my heartiest gratitude to all the speakers sponsors and participants for your enthusiastic participation and support let us make this sme series a resounding success paving the way for smes to thrive grow and contribute to the prosperity of our economy thank you and i wish you all you will have a very productive and nurturing experience thank you so much i think we can over to sunil bhai sunil bhai you can yeah, take sorry. over, over mm, to yeah to sorry i forgot to introduce i introduce him but now i hand over the mic to our moderator sunil parekh
ये माइक हमने आप इधर सुन भी आप माइक लीजिए तुम्हें हम माइक लीजिए तुम्हें थोड़ा ओपनिंग रिमार्क्स करें हाँ ओके ओके आइए आइए नहीं वो फैन नहीं आ रहा है थोड़ा सा अगर एक फैन लगा दो ना देन एवरीबॉडी विल गेट शफलिंग री शफलिंग दिस इज हाउ एसएमई सरवाइव्स इट इज आल्सो हाउ मोदी सरवाइव्स So friends, uh, welcome. Today's context is growth, sustainability, and the role of HR. Uh, let me also begin by saying thanks to Savan. Where is, where is he gone? Ha, Savan, why did you go? Gayab, why did you go? And Jamin Bhai, the architect of the program and who has been driving MSMEs wherever he goes, and to four wonderful panelists. A very three-minute short uh, opening comments, and then we'll get on to the discussion. India has achieved a remarkable milestone. This is to set the context. It's now the fourth largest economy of the world, heading to become the third largest soon. India, who was a net importer of all mobile phones in the country, has become the second largest mobile manufacturer in the world. And over the past decade, India has manufactured 2.5 billion mobile phones. Whether in EVs, semiconductors, electronic manufacturing, the electrical vehicle ecosystem led by Atmanirbhar, indigenization, modernization in defense, aerospace, semiconductors, generative AI, blockchain and ML, quantum and electroceuticals, auto components, climate change, vehicle interiors, infrastructure services, construction, urban and mountain tunnels. Railway supplies, port services, aviation and MRO operations, and CJI VFX entertainment and OTT platforms. Design services are just to mention a few of the very fast growing areas. And you only have to see the sector reports of these verticals to find out how quickly these sectors are growing at over 20% per year. The stage, friends, is set for India's manufacturing market to hit the $1 trillion milestone by the year 2026. Indian industry and our MSMEs have passed through Agni Pariksha, which was the pandemic. Today, we have crossed the pre-pandemic levels of output already. But friends, not everybody has passed through. The recovery has been K-shaped. The up arm of the K means you have grown, and there are industries in MSMEs that are still not doing well. For example, today both gems and jewellery as well as textiles are continuing to not to do well today. Viksit Bharat goal, which means we want to be a developed by 2047, it means that the definition according to the World Bank and IMF is that when the per capita income of a country exceeds $12,000, then you are called Viksit, <laughs> developed country. So if you have one and a half crore people and you have $12,000, you need a GDP of about 18 to 20 trillion dollars, which means India is expected to become the size of America what it is today by the year 2047. This means we will grow to five times the present size in 23 years. 8% in real term growth, 13 to 15% growth in turnover for industry year after year after year, eminently doable. We are now matured as MSMEs, experienced, global in outlook, especially stronger after the pandemic, and new technologies are here to assist us in very many ways possible, including productivity improvement. This growth, in my views, is eminently possible. Bhai Dao, tighten your belts. 
the time has come to make serious money grow and then you ho paisa 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 ane ekdam majja ni life <laughs> sustainability and growth the topic chosen for today are extremely important and let me highlight the importance the team that you build engage and develop will help you thrive into the future that is all about hr 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 you can buy machinery sell machinery you can change your vendors you can change your customers but if your core team of management is not in place and not aligned as savan will also tell you repeatedly as a very forward looking management consultant that industry is not going to grow let me give you an example only 4 out of the 30 top sensex companies who have all the resources in the world only 4 out of the top 30 sensex companies continue to be in the sensex today after 40 years now one is surprised that such large companies have lost their place of eminence in spite of having all the resources and the study that was done on the nse industries found that the key element was there are two one success makes you complacent lazy and therefore the aspiration to go forward dies the second is they did not look at the architecture of their internal management and hr resources so in order to not only to grow but even to survive in a competitive market it's the top management of the company that helps the company to stay ahead profitability diversification in products and geography competitiveness issues innovation are some of the key growth areas whether large company or small company so today to discuss we have four expert panelists hand picked and chosen by jamin bhai himself and are here with us today to share their expert views and insights there are four major topics we want to cover the first is about what is the status and outlook of smes very briefly the second will be what are the challenges and opportunities that msmes are facing the third is about the issues of msmes where we will go into some of the issues but we will go deeper into the hr component and the fourth is about what are the other policy suggestions that come from this eminent panel to see how we can we look at msme 2.0 into the future so friends we will divide this into two parts we have two macro people mr solanki and dr shukla are the big boys they give you can give you a picture of what is happening to msmes in general what are the policies what are the schemes what is the status today and what is it is and the two other gentlemen we have is prakash bajaji and my friend pranav bhai they are micro people they will tell you at the operating level at the level of the company whether service industry or manufacturing what are the things that we can do so macro and micro we will dwell on all aspects of it and at the end of it i'm sure we will come out stronger and wiser with the insights we have so let me begin with my question answers first we'll go through a round of questions i'm good i'm good if i feel tired i'll take the chair up nahi barabar chu barabar chu nahi thak lag se to barabar hai okay the first question is to mr solanki for the big picture please help us uh, mr solanki with your views on um, the status growth and sustainability of msmes you know what is the big picture today either in india or preferably in gujarat because we are all gathered here from gujarat કે શું પરિસ્થિતિ છે અત્યારે થેન્ક યુ ડૉક્ટર સુનિલ પારેખ ફોર ગીવ મી ધીઝ ઓપોર્ચ્યુનિટી ડૉક્ટર જમીન વસા સાહેબ ડૉક્ટર શુક્લા સાહેબ પ્રજાજીજી એચઆર એક્સપર્ટ્સ આઈ એમ ધ પર્સન હુ ઇઝ રિયલી પુટિંગ ઓન એ ગ્રાઉન્ડ લેવલ ધ એચઆર પોલિસી એન્ડ ધ એમએસએમ હી મસ્ટ બી ફેસિંગ અ લોટ ઓફ હી મસ્ટ બી હેવિંગ અ લોટ ઓફ અન ક્વેશ્ચન્સ એઝ વેલ એઝ ગુડ એક્સપિરિયન્સ એન્ડ practices also as far as the msmes are concerned uh, let me tell you sir today's speaker dr saab today's speaker i just i downloaded at 12 o'clock today okay so today we have as on date uh, total msme those who have got the udyam registration certificate is 2 lakh 2 crore 64 lakh 60843 uh, msme and country country as a whole country as a whole i'm giving you the figure of country as a whole and uh, you know that uh, uh, there is unorganized sectors that we will introduce the udyam assist platform particularly those who are, who are uh, working in an unorganized sector 
and uh, under that uh, udyam assist uh, the registration is 1 crore 86 lakhs 18,578. Uh, as far as the employment is concerned, because MSME sector is one of the la la second largest employer, uh, the MSME sector uh, uh, is providing employment to almost uh, more than 17 crore people, persons. Uh, and this uh, other, as per the Udyam assist figure we have, uh, it is uh, more than 2 crore 20 lakhs the people. Now, uh, coming to the Gujarat, So in Gujarat, uh, as on date, uh, is today's figure only, uh, we have um, uh, Udyam registered unit is 18,78,441. 18 lakhs. 18 lakhs. 18 lakhs. 1, 8, 18 lakhs. 18 lakhs. Uh, out of that, the interesting figures are, because uh, you and Dr. Shukla Sahib must be very much interested to know that, uh, we have got 17,89,064 micro units, is almost 95 Point twenty four percent of the total MSME. So the MSME sector is being dominated by the micro enterprises. Uh, we have 80,960 small, that is 4.3%, and 8,470 uh, medium enterprises. It's less than 1%. Right. And uh, total employment is uh, uh, more than 1 crore 22 lakhs persons. So this is a, uh, again, out of this, if you look at to the manufacturing and service sector, Right, sir. Yeah, the manufacturing sector uh, is almost 34 percent, 6, uh, 6 lakh 42,000 plus, and the service sector is 12 lakh 35,000 plus. So it's again dominated by the service enterprise is more than uh, 65 percent. But it's very interesting to note something. Uh, in manufacturing sector, in manufacturing sector, if you look at today, uh, the, uh, what are the micro, small, and medium, uh, 92 percent are the micro. 6.7% uh, are the small and around 1% are the medium enterprises. The same stories with the service sector enterprise also, again it is dominated by the micro, it is more than 96%, uh, around 3% uh, small and less than 1% the medium sector enterprises. Uh, so this is, uh, as uh, you also told and uh, Dr. Vasha is also uh, covered, uh, that uh, this uh, MSME sector is greatly contributing not only in the industrial output of the country, uh, but it is contributing greatly in GDP as well as the gross value addition also. And the, as you to, uh, say that as a pressure, if you look at today uh, Indian economy in context to MSME, MSME contribution in total economy, it is around 1 trillion, right? And it's expected to be, uh, if we, when we are uh, aiming for the 5 trillion economy, uh, it is expected that uh, soon this uh, MSME sector will be contributing uh, uh, more than two, uh, two trillion uh, in the Indian economy because it is the larger exporters and the larger industrial output provider. And that was the days, that was the days, no? the, the people were telling about that the MSME sector is not able to produce the, the, the product state of the art product or the high tech area. Now you will you'll find the, the presence of MSME everywhere, right from paper pin to space. You name any sector, yeah, the MSME is there, right? And uh, particularly when we talk about the space and uh, if we look at the Gujarat scenario in the aerospace and space industries, sir, um, uh, around 80 to 90 percent satellite work is being carried out in Ahmedabad, so the SAC, area, SAC establishment. And there are more than 300 MSCs, those who are regular supplier of the, the uh, satellite components. So. Uh, the, the, it is not that uh, these uh, MSME is just manufacturing the handicap product or the product at a low value. The, yeah, it is a high tech also and in many sector, in many sector, even in pharma, you will find lot many MSMEs, <laughs> right? You name any sector, you will find that uh, uh, the sector there. Uh, regarding uh, your second part, that what you said that uh, what is the prospect and what is the uh, uh, share that MSME can have? So the business opportunity, if I just, I, I'm giving the examples of the, the projects which are being implemented by the government of India across the country and the, uh, the uh, total, uh, the outlay of that project. If you look at it, a Nesta infrastructure project, it is 1.9 trillion USD. Bharat Mala project, that is for the road and infrastructure, 140 billion USD. 
Sagarmala project for the uh, port and uh, coastal infrastructure is 130 billion USD. Delhi Mumbai Industrial Corridor, uh, 100 billion. Smart city, around 100 smart cities, uh, there's around 100 billion. Uh, so the, uh, if you look at today, the, the, uh, the pr prospect available for the MSME, uh, yes, there is a good prospect is available, the bright future is available for the MSME, because in my personal opinion, because I have worked with the multinationals prior to joining the government, and I'm, since almost 35 years, I'm associated with the MSME sector. <laughs> but I'm seeing, sir, that uh, uh, it's a coexistence. It's a coexistence. See, MSME have got some uh, advantages. The first and foremost is the fastest adaptability. We say there's a one man so, but again, the, what the strength of and the, the plus point, which I am seeing that being a one man so, is the fastest adaptability because he's the person who is deciding immediately. So he's adopted. So given an opportunity with the, the prima, in the premises, whatever facility he has, he will definitely adopt if you find some opportunity. So the fastest adaptability, the lowest possible cost he is able to produce the goods or the providing the services at the lowest po uh, possible cost. And there are some policies and the schemes which support the MSME sector micro, uh, and micro, small and medium enterprises even to cut down their cost, to improve the productivity and I think uh, we'll discuss later on on that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for your intervention. Let's go on to the next point that we want to discuss and this is from uh, our Dr. Sunil Shukla is a giant in the field of entrepreneurship and training, Director General of EDI. And please join me in congratulating him. He has recently got the award for, from, his, from his alma mater. The Gorakhpur University has given him a distinguished alumni award. <laughs> so Sunil ji, we would like to hear your over macro views about, you know, this whole sector and what do you feel about it? Sir? Thank you, uh, Sunil Bhai, Jamil Bhai, uh, Solanki Sahib, Pandya Ji, Mr. Bajaj Ji, and Dr. Savan Ji. Thank you for the invitation. It's always a great pleasure to be here at AMA for all the wonderful work that. Uh, association. <laughs> Teacher, we are used to <laughs> be here. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yeah. Let me first uh, compliment uh, uh, Jamin Bhai and AMA for organizing this event this month because this is the month for celebrating the spirit of MSMEs all over the world. The World MSME Day is on 27th June and it is the right time that uh, you are celebrating. My compliments for that. Uh, Mr. Solanki has given a very good picture of MSMEs, the challenges, the opportunities, the contribution, uh, how uh, useful uh, or valuable they are in terms of employment generation. We are all aware. MSMEs, he has very rightly said that uh, adaptability. I fully agree with him that uh, the core strength of MSMEs uh, is uh, the resilience, the ability to bounce back, come what the challenges are, they have always shown, demonstrated that they can always bounce back. We have seen it, jo Sunil Bhai ne kaha ki agni pariksha diya hai abhi logo ne. This is the COVID test and we have passed, the MSMEs have passed that as well. I would like to uh, remind uh, all of you, probably there are number of schemes and initiatives of the governments which are going on. The recent initiative is RAMP, Raising and Accelerating MSME Performance. It's a Government of India initiative which is being implemented by the state governments and all the state governments, uh, they are in the process of preparing their uh, SIPs, Strategic Investment Plans, particularly to strengthen the performance of MSMEs getting it uh, approved by the government of India and implementing it. EDIA has been associated with some of the state governments, including the government of Gujarat, Karnataka, Kerala, Maharashtra, and few others. So we have been working with the uh, with MSME entrepreneurs, the state governments, to understand that what are the core issues. 
I would like to, if uh, uh, Sunil Bhai agrees, I would like to briefly talk about what are the observations that I and my colleagues have found overall in MSME sector and specifically in Gujarat. Very interesting picture has emerged. The challenges are not, not much different from what Solanki Sahab has uh, uh, mentioned or what Sunil Bhai uh, in his opening remarks uh, said that. That the lack of, lack of uh, not the opportunities, the challenges are there, but they, they have somehow, they have a difficulty of getting the trained manpower and that relates with the today's uh, discussion. Skill manpower, inadequate infrastructure, and somewhere the, uh, the facilities of training, development, etc. that they have and in view of the newer models of businesses uh, that have taken place, particularly after the pandemic, like uh, digital way of uh, doing business or ONDC platform or GEM platform that we have been talking about. That also, I think, uh, somewhere showing the uh, digital uh, transformation, that shift which is required that continues to be an issue. Uh, supply chain disruptions, that is there, increased cost of raw material, financial constraints, it has been there, it continues to be there, and I'm sure that aage bhi ye rahega. Market access, competition, no or low collaboration. I think this is the unique nature of MSMEs. Uh, somehow they have been shying away from uh, collaborating among themselves and collaborating with uh, other enterprises. They have no problem in collaborating with the, uh, with the enterprises in other countries, uh, but probably there is some issue. Also, lack of uh, management or business skills in general, inability to meet expect expectations of the investor. So these are some of the general observations. If I talk about the specific observations that what we have done in Gujarat based on uh, the survey conducted on 2,000 MSMEs across the state, 2,000 MSMEs. The challenges are again access to market, access to technology and access to credit. If I tell you the data, access to market micro, about 51% micro enterprises feel this, that challenge to, ac challenge in accessing market, small 56% and medium 61%. So the bigger you are in your stature in MSME, the more difficulties you tend to face in accessing the market. Access to technology is also ranging from 38% market to 30% small and 45% uh, medium. They, they face that difficulty. Credit, 44% access to credit for micro, small is 38% and medium is 47%. So nearly half of the enterprises they find difficulties in accessing credit. If I talk about the GEM portal, which Government of India has been publicizing, Solanki Sahab has mentioned about that, lots of schemes are there. So what is the adoption of GEM and how many of them are registered? Only 31% small, only 31% small, 53% medium and 62% enterprises are registered on the GEM portal. So just 62%, even in the MSMEs. About one-third of the total MSMEs are unaware of the GEM portal. And many who were ever aware, but they have not registered themselves. ONDC, Open Network Digital Access for, uh, for co uh, Commerce, ONDC Access, micro is just 23%. Small is 26%, medium 34%, they are registered on the ONDC platform. And large number of them, they are unaware of ONDC. About 42% micro, 36 small and 28% medium, they are not aware of what ONDC platforms are. So awareness about the digital platforms, digital adaptation or digitalization, that continues to be an issue. If the marketing support is concerned, most of the MSMEs have not availed any marketing support under state government scheme or the policies. Most of the MSMEs. And 
so far availing the credit or financial assistance under any central government scheme mudra loan 33% of msmes they have availed followed by cgtms credit guarantee trust for micro small enterprises 22% and pm egp 15% so lot of scope still exists for publicizing and encouraging them to avail of the loans because if schemes are there and on one hand you are telling that you have difficulty in accessing credit so some some efforts initiative need to be taken by the msme and the associations also more another issue i think all of us know that the pending payments and there are some guidelines about 6 months back that created lot of inconvenience to msmes themselves when it was uh, made necessary that made necessary that Uh, within 45 days all payments to be made clear and i think large lot of msmes about 55% of the overall pending payments are there and particularly from the private companies so something needs to be done over there lot of issues are there that we have identified but i would like to stop here and maybe uh, wait for the next round of my turn so that i can talk about what are the overall suggestions recommendations and implications for uh, capacity building competitiveness and uh, training etc of the msfs thank you very much we now go over to pranav bhai many of us know pranav bhai because he is the chairman of gcia president of gcia we also know him he is tai he supports entrepreneurship he is in it he is one of the largest it companies of gujarat and is now doing lot of development work to support new cre enterprise cre creation friends he is also the son of late uh, justice pandya who actually brought legal aid to gujarat and you know the state is indebted to his family for having created that service so jamin bhai uh, sorry to pranav bhai i would like to ask you about you know today there is sme and there are startups startups are handling the technology access themselves but msme requires technical funds and subsidies and incentives and support to be able to access technology to solanki sahib ek jo schemes che startup ne koi scheme jhoti nahi and they are at the latest cutting edge of technology so the new opportunities that are coming in the sector whether it is agri tech fintech and so many tech 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 is there in everything even manufacturing as iot so can you just share your view why is it that the msmes the opportunities are there but they need support whereas the startups without any money without profitability are able to adapt technology and use it um we'll be sitting here yeah yeah please hello yeah so uh, first of all uh, jamin bhai thank you very much sunil bhai thanks to you too and the uh, the entire ama team um startup ne મદદની જરૂર નથી એવું નથી સતત જરૂર જ છે ઓન ધ કોન્ટ્રેટ ઇટ્સ લાઈક ધ ચાઇલ્ડ ઇન કિન્ડર ગાર્ડન રિક્વાયરિંગ કન્ટિન્યુઅસ સપોર્ટ એવી હાલત છે ઇટ્સ અ ફેક્ટ ધેટ્સ વોટ વી સી ઇઝ ઇટ ઓડિબલ હલો 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 is this fine yeah. okay so uh, as i was uh, answering to him uh, sunil bhai's question uh, startup ne continuous madad ni zarurat hai it's not the case that they don't need it while in terms of adopting technology yes because they are there uh, on the basis of the technology ena aadhare je loko agar vadhi raha hai so that mindset to adopt technology mein ne madad ni zarur nahi but in order to uh, run the show run the company and as a startup in uh, what they are probably aware is about the particular aspect on which this startup is based on the functionality part of it or the technology part of it but as a business any kevi the run karvu agar kevi the lai jao statutory compliance is su che su nahi so they need those uh, 
hand hold in a virtually initially on a daily basis then over the period it changes and it goes to weekly monthly uh, but it does so it's like as i was telling you uh, like a kindergarten kid going up to the primary that's the stage while the people who had most of the time who has floated the startup uh, could be an experienced set of people but still they face this evu jaruri nahi ke bhai anubhav sathe koi vyakti startup chalu kare ane ene aa badi madad ni jarur nahi evu jaruri nahi um government schemes are there to support startups also these schemes uh, by nature i'm not only in term, talking in terms of startup but the msme's requirement in terms of uh, adapting the technology uh the schemes are by uh, default designed in such a way that they are supposed to support and uh, kind of understand the need ane ene agal lai jawa mate the take it forward unfortunately the a uh, time taken in terms of qualifying someone to be part of that scheme government has its own checks and balances vis-a-vis -vis the speed at which the msmes or the startup require that facility based on the government scheme so a gap che uh, there is a permanent uh, checker maker kind of a scenario continuously on between the private sector on the one side and the public sector on the other side and that's an ongoing story shu um, uh, solanki ji ne khayal che um, in fact as an association we talk to him he guides us we also guide the our members and we try to see that uh, by and large the submissions are such ke loko ne incentive scheme pramane agar vadva ma selu pade pan ha je adaptability ni vat che the agility ni vat che for the msmes ene uh, support karva mate to substantiate that adaptability and agility that an msme can bring on the table the speed at which the facilities is being given to them they need to change and it's a work in progress between us and the government on a continual basis and i'm sure things down the line will improve it has improved to a great extent it will improve further uh, in terms of opportunity sunil bhai the tax so from the hr perspective bajaj ji would absolutely agree with me uh, the sheer pace and the speed at which the technology is now becoming pervasive tame dharo tame tame kalpana karso e badi jagyah e technology aavse ch so the tech word can be used virtually everywhere even even at our home resi a tech residents thai sake em che you just aankh vichine vicharo ketli technology tamara ghar ma pota ma che so tech is an pervasive word it's like our own surname jem pranav pandya che with the tech is part of every one of you so that tech is going to be is an ever pervasive thing as a result the opportunity among the msmes that have come up is is in term is in terms of agri tech so precision farming a data mining based uh, uh, advisory to the farmers based on the past 50 years record of weather past 50 years record of soil health uh, and the current uh, weather uh, forecast a badu bhegu karine computer with the help of ai uh, provides uh, lots of narrative to the farmers there is a it is an advisory and in Uh, there is a go between person between farmer and them and that is these msme tech companies they help them by way of precision farming it with use of drones this use of this ai facilities etc so i'm just touching it here i can go on and on i've got quite a few ca use cases for that also uh, so there is one secondly in terms of uh, transports so transport ni under techno use is going to the level that now drivers driving and um, uh, methodology in the way in which he drives the vehicle no analysis thai che for optimizing the use of the tra uh, vehicle transport vehicle optimizing the pathway or the route uh, that the driver uh, or the company plans in terms of transporting the products the overall analysis of the vehicle the health of the vehicle so this is all leading to the optimization of the use in terms of the the companies which are not only really using the transport to ferry their 
uh, products from one place to the other, but the transporting company themselves are also making use of technology. So that is uh, one fill up for us. FinTech, um, I'm sure uh, 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 Southern Kiji would agree. Now we have got AI based uh, trading, facility, trading facilities in terms of the stock exchanges, which actually allows at a faster pace, extremely precise trend analysis. And so an algorithmic uh, trading logic sketch, eh? and they are there in place and continually, continuously evolving uh, based on the data that is available. And humongous amount of data uh, the government is allowed uh, for the data mining purpose, and everybody is making better use of that. So algorithmic trading is a big thing in fintech, and it is ever evolving, and it's going on in a big way. Uh, last but not the least, uh, uh, if I look at the adoption uh, in terms of technology in other areas, uh, especially space, so space near the newer areas, almost around uh, 118 and 119 odd DPIIT, Government of India's uh, certified startups are there supporting the space technology. In fact, Kamala Tamil is somebody who I don't know in the in the noise of this election going on probably a news Dubai gaya chai. but India is there ke jya third uh, 3D printing ni madati sub cryogenic motor develop kari and apne rocket launch kari sakya chai. that too by a company and startup company almost around 125 million dollar uh, space tech ma gaya chai chala ekaj varas ma and all kudos to government of India for this futuristic and far reaching uh, approach and I'm sure I'm talking in terms of government per se so everybody in the entire government will continue this path and uh, it is there for the benefit of India at large Apra Deshma Sasta Dare Apanne Space Technology No Upyog Healthcare Ma Jua Marse Industrialization Ma Toh Marse Marse Irrigation Weather Analysis Abadu ultimately Apanne Kama Jawa No Chai so it's there. So opportunity is there. Uh, there are gaps between us, uh, in the associations and the companies, understanding the nuances of the government scape. Government on its own part is coming forward to understand the gaps that we have in mind and it is being resolved. So all in all, a good picture, a teamwork picture, and this is going to go forward in a big way. Thank you. This is, this is, we have covered the big picture now. Now let's get into HR. And we have Bajaji with us. And uh, so Bajaji, what are the key issues of HR for an MSE that you have seen from your own experience? Yes, yes, most welcome. And after this, uh, if you agree, Dr. Agarwal, I'd like to come to you to answer the question, how do you handle attrition? Log company chhodke chale jate hain and they treat your company as a training ground. Aaj aaye, aaya ram, gaya ram. Chhe mahine, mahine rake, training leke chale gaye. How do you manage? Good evening everyone. Uh, thank you. Thank you Dr. Jamin, uh, Jamin Vasa, Dr. Sunil Parekh and everyone. So the key point it is all about HR. The, what are the major challenges which SMEs are facing? I, be, I believe most of the I mean the audience which are here. I mean maybe from I am assuming that they are from the M MSME uh, background. I mean maybe they they are from the that background. So major challenges which I face uh, it's first of all the lack of HR policy. I think still uh, they are not considering HR policy is the part of the company. Maybe it's a, they are into the manufacturing sector, whether they are into the service sector, but there is no HR policy. Only the owner is doing firefighting each and every time. So anything is happening, you have to ask, boss ne pucho. Iska kya hua? Boss ne pucho. I know I'm not aware about. There is no delegation of proper work. You can see the same situation, maybe, I mean, it may be part, partially correct or partially wrong, but most of the cases which we have handled, I think, more than 50% of our clients fall under the MSME category. The latest change which uh, 2020 the MSME has been uh, upgraded the turnover. So the micro, small and medium. Now medium also let's say turnover threshold has been upgraded up to 250 crores. 
Solanki sir, if I'm not wrong, it is now 250 crores, right? So most of the 50%, more than 50% clients we have served, they are from the MSME. So what we have faced, let's say there is no proper HR policy. They consider, or even there is no HR person. Everything is taken care by, might be the account person or someone is there. They consider HR as an expense, not as an investment. Now, I have to ask one question to all of you. I mean, many of the good people are sitting here, I mean, from that department and from that industry. So what are the key major five areas you can think that any industry need to focus to growth? Anyone can answer? Major key five areas. Let's say if you are an industrialist, if you are an HR, if you are an employee, what do you think, what are the major five areas you should focus to grow your company? Anyone? Yeah, please. Sales and marketing. Okay. Operation. Okay. Uh, I think HR is also one. Yeah, yes. Uh, yeah, finance. 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 Great. Anyone else? Yes, please. Cash flows, yes. That one is also. Anyone wants to share the input? Yeah, please. Okay. Hmm. Exactly. You you touch the I mean core of the there my question. Yes. Yes. So uh, yes, please. Sorry? I'm not, I'm not getting. Okay, detail planning, future planning you can say. So I have been asked the same question in one of the forum that what are the key five factors which any industrialist or any, any person or any employer need to focus. I have replied the five key areas. Number one, people. Number two, people. Number three, people. Number four, people and number five people that's it so similarly i believe that there are three p's in whether it is a product based company or service based so mostly three p's are very very important number one obviously it is people second the product which you are selling and the number three it's a process now everything is okay but if your people are not okay how you are going to i mean i mean we we can see that the indian team or whether it is sport or whether it is a family or whether it's a business so people are the core heart of the any company. You can pick any small company, any big companies. We have witnessed the growth of the small companies who have started, let's say, five person. And now when we have seen now, I mean, after five years, 10 years, they become the 150 people company. How is it possible? Do you think without, I think that uh, Madam sh shared the details that the key factors which challenges are that the performance appraisal, there is no performance appraisal system is there. There is no proper HR policy documentation is there. There is no training and need identification, no training and development policy is there. So these are the major issues. When employer change the mindset that, okay, we are making this investment for the, our future. Many times, yes, I mean, I have faced so many questions from the, our client also, that, sir, training APH, training lane candidates jata rahe What to do? Now, if you are thinking, okay, if you are making someone training, I mean, it's a whole circle. I mean, if someone is leaving your company, then you think they will always have a very positive attitude towards your company. I believe, I mean, here I, I met earlier in our earlier session, I mean, one person is the Mr. Prashant, right? So he, he has, I think, the employees working from last 20 years. So I believe nowadays everyone is not working for the money. Now, I mean, there are multiple ways and opportunities are there. Anyone can earn money in a, so many ways. I mean, startups and market has become very, very open. So the most important part, the, I believe the challenges which we need to change is the HR policy. Uh, we have been associated with currently one of the Chatral based company. I cannot disclose the name, but that company is already doing a 30 crore plus turnover. Uh, they have a 100 plus manpower. Now they want to double it to the digit and let's say 60 crore or 70 crores. So they have invited us, that's so what should we do? I thought, do you have proper HR policy? No, sir, we do not have any HR policy. I, I, I suggested them and then we have taken this assignment, okay, start first making the HR policy, clear your rules, leave, whatever, whatever the points you are covering, but make it compulsory that you should have a proper HR person and then you should invest into the HR policy. And that, that clarity gives you the, why should someone join you? 
I mean, nowadays everyone is asking, okay, candidate question is there. If I am conducting interview, okay, what is, what is you are expecting next five years or what is your future planning? But the irony is that, that the employer might not be aware about uh, what is his future planning for next five years. So the, the point is we should have the clarity from the employer point of view, from SMSE, I mean MSME, sorry. And they have to adopt the new technology as Mr. Pandya uh, rightly said, they have to adopt the technology trainings and development programs and they should uplift themselves first to employ other team members also. I think that is my input. Yeah, thank you. So Sri Agarwal, Ayaram Gayaram factory mein, kaise kaise manage karoge? Ek mic de do na. Hello. Aaj na chhe ye aar rakha hiya. Pranav bhai, ek ek bill bhi aap. Good evening everyone. I am Dr. Manish Agarwal, CEO Jivraj Mehta Hospital. And uh, thank you so much uh, for asking such a nice question. In our healthcare industry, we face a lot of attrition, especially uh, in the group of nurses and medical officers. To retain nurses, and it is a global issue, retaining nurses. And, and nowadays, turnover, staff turnover is very fast. Mm. Six months, one year, two year. Till that time, we uh, could train them and we could get the productivity out of them. They are gone. And that too for small uh, incentive or yeah. So what we do, number one, we provide competitive compensations at par with industry, even better than the industry. This is one of the very important lucrative aspect. Then second thing is that work friendly and safe environment, especially for females. They should feel that they are working at a safe place, not only they, their uh, family members also. Because we are in hospital industry, so our industry runs 24 into 7. And nurses are also uh, doing their duties 24 into 7. So in the night, so there should be a uh, confidence that they are into safe environment. And uh, uh, you will be surprised to know in our organization, more than 70% females are there. So this is our moral responsibility to provide them safe environment. So for that, we have got multiple uh, 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 committees to safeguard their interest. Then apart from this, third point is that providing incentive and appreciation. So many people, everybody likes appreciation. So for that, we have uh, kept a, a concept called employee of the month. So our HODs, they are scrutinizing, there is a format. So they nominate the person from their department. And then uh, every month, first week of the month, we appreciate them amongst gathering like this. So that also gives them a lot of motivation. And not only that, we have got a lot many displays at every uh, waiting area. So there on the, those displays, we run their photographs. So they feel very proud and they share these things with their family members. Thank you. Sorry. Okay. So Thank you so much. Thank you so much for, for this opportunity. Now I have got one question from panelists. I just want, we'll come to the group Q&A in another okay, 10 minutes. Okay, fine, fine, minute. fine, fine, fine. And we'll ask you to ask the first question first. Okay. Thank you. So now all four of you have expressed your thoughts and other things. So there is a question that has come up. Bajaj ji says, Prakash ji says ki Lala company hai, HR policy hai nahi, professionalism hai nahi. HR policy nahi hai to fir rules, regulation nahi hai. Admi chala gaya, to he starts solving the problem. Crisis mein rehta hai. And then because he is in crisis, he is not able to do strategic thinking and policy work. To policy banti nahi hai, crisis chalu rehta hai. And budhiya chakki pissing and pissing and pissing. <laughs> this is the condition in MSMEs. So Shukla ji, what do you feel is the way to transform this enterprise from a Lala culture? to a professional organization where an investor will feel confident that there are systems in it. This man is talking properly, there is transparency and they are doing something good. What is the method? Methods? In, in very brief. Very, yeah, Thank you. Very briefly, sir. Uh, I have been working with some of the companies and you have said that how can we take it from a professional culture? 
So I think uh, somewhere the the management support is required to uh, retain talent. I didn't first identify right kind of people, retain that talent, groom them, and manage that talent. The problem is what you have said ki jo chakki ka chakra chalta rahata hai. If somebody has taken any initiative to professionalize and because of some reason, if he, him, he himself or herself has to leave, then again everything has to start afresh. Mm -hmm. So knowledge management, talent management and professionalization in terms of the newer tools like ERP kind of thing. Agar main apne uh, institute ka example dhu, earlier in order to get any data, if I ask HR manager, he will spend hours together to give me that kind of right kind of data. Today I have access to everything on my computer, I don't have to ask him. And it has he really helped me reducing the cost. So, ek wo karne ki zorot hai aur government of India ki bahut sari schemes hai. Digitalization, digital MSME khud ek scheme hai, itni badi scheme hai. ESDP program lo kar rahe hai, entrepreneurship and skill development program uh, for creating this kind of professional managers, hmm. the workforce has. This year itself, I mean in ye abhi 23-24 ke saal mein, humne uh, 92,000 लोगों को हमने खुद ट्रेन किया है oh. all over the country very good 92000 लोगों को ट्रेन किया है including on technological skills like uh, uh, iot uh, robotics ये सारे सब्जेक्ट्स कवर करके uh, advanced M A esdp जो है iot robotics automation gamification animation mobile app mobile app suitable to their enterprises software development supply chain, all kinds of things that we have provided. So there is a requirement and uh, there is a facility available. So I think unko karne ki hai jarurat hai. Sabse jada mai ye kahunga, it is again uh, an attitudinal part. Uh, so first, right kind of attitude. With right kind of uh, attitude, if you have people, then you can uh, create that kind of work, work culture. Abhi, अगर हमारे देश में 49 परसेंट इंटरनेट का पेनिट्रेशन है, 49 परसेंट तक एक्सेस है, और डी डेटा से डेट ऑल दिस डोज हु हैव एक्सेस टू इंटरनेट 90 परसेंट ऑफ देम यूज़ इट एवरी डे, तो अगर हम टेक्नोलॉजी एडॉप्ट कर लेते हैं एमएसएमईज़ में, तो प्रोब्ली डेट विल बी वेरी वेरी हेल्पफुल deal with this kind of target group, I always uh, prefer to share. Uh, FT, FT is a very popular uh, uh, newspaper, you will be knowing, Financial Times. Few years back, uh, one of their uh, correspondents had carried out an article by uh, meeting several CEOs of Fortune 500 companies. Hmm. Just to find out that uh, whenever you take someone, what do you look for in that person? And whenever you have to retrench or fire someone, then uh, what are the major reasons? And after interviewing about a dozen CEOs, the conclusion was, which was given in the title, that they hire people for technical skills and fire them for behavioral failures. So I think <laughs> this is what we need to understand and help them with the right kind of behavior and attitudinal profile. With that, I think everything should be much easier. Thank you. Thank you. Very well said. Very well said. So this brings us to the same point that we started with. Ki Swiggy hai, Zomato hai. They start with technology. Aur ek hamara MSME hai ki jisme profitability hai, turnover hai. Wo online nahi jana chata hai. Wo digitize nahi karna chata hai. So the problem is here. Government has given this scheme that he has talked about, Shukla ji. The o -O online uh, marketing digital economy. You have to register your MSMEs and orders start coming. But malum nahi hai ya register nahi karna hai. Ek mental inertia hai. Startup 20 saal ka hai, wo shuru karta hai. Ye 40 saal no dhagoj hai. Jena chokrao vapra se, pan pote industry ma nahi kare. Ale khare khare vichar vaj jehu chhe ke kya where is the adchan in this, in this whole exercise we really have. To one last point on HR and then we will go on to the issue of policy and take your, start taking your question. So, Jamin Bhai, you are a successful entrepreneur, you have created chemical industries. Have a nano koi aave to ke chemical industry ma, foundry ma kaam karwaanu chai, oh, bau garmi chai. AC ma hoi, IT hoi, 
टू व्हीलर फोर व्हीलर ई एम एम आई फरे तो वाई विल ही वर्क ऑन द शॉप फ्लोर इन अ हॉस्पिटल और वाई विल ही वर्क इन अ केमिकल इंडस्ट्री लाइक योर्स बट यू हेव बीन एबल टू क्रिएट ग्रुड अमाउंट ऑफ लॉयल्टी तब के कर Give me, give you one example, because I have in my company many employees are more than 30 years of the experience oh. are joining are still with me. We have also on an average five to seven years minimum. आज ये आपने जो ये चीज़ है कि लगभग maximum एक बेवरस होए तो के हो हो बेवरस ही तो मैं company में चो. But yes, it's just research. It's a science by itself. आज ने अने इट्स अ डेली चेंजिंग एटमोस्फियर कारण के एमएसएमई में अगाउ पर कितने प्रमाण हैं हमारी तो ट्रेनिंग स्कूल अच्छे हमें माना सुने रखिए ट्रेन करिए पची कोई मोटी कंपनी वधारे पैसा आप ही ने ले जाए आप प्रश्न कायम होए हमारी एचआर एजेंसी एचआर पर पहले तो एचआर नो माना सुने रख तो ना तो जाते इंटरव्यू करवा बैसी जिए एचआर ना स्टाफ चे आखों दिवस विचार हो कोई ने कोई माना सुन इंटरव्यू चालू है वी वी वर्क वी थॉट मच अबाउट इट हाउ वी कैन रिटेन वर गणा वेलफेयर सिस्टम सुधी गणा इंक्रीमेंट आप या गणा अवॉर्ड्स आप या पर द बेस्ट थिंग इज इफ यू आर लॉयल टू योर पीपल दे आर लॉयल ट and that ultimately worked it if you understand their need properly they definitely will stick to you for a long time pachi any pase tame kaam lo time lo pan at least we should he should be treated as a family member he can, now time has come you cannot treat him as a only employee and luckily my hr person is also here he knows about it He, we really are little bit more successful, but the basic problem is to get a good people. To get a good good people. Ah, good people. आज ये इटली वधी मार्केट और मार्केट के ये के इंडस्ट्री में, particularly I am into the pharma and chemical industry. इटली वधी tough competition चहे. You don't know क्या रे तमारे तक तमारा competitor और मानस job करवावे. न थोड़ो time job करें जतो रे. अपन ने पसी खाओ पड़े क्या तो तुम्हारे कॉम्पिटिटर नो मारा सब तो पर नाउ द थिंग्स आर वेरी ओपन अबे पहला जो कंजर्वेटिव मगस्ती माइंडसेट थी आपने जोता था द कंपटीशन वी हैव टू फेस इट सो लॉयल्टी कम्स आप व्हेन यू आर लॉयल टू द पर्सन एंड दैट माइंडसेट वी ऑल एंटरप्रेनर हैज टू चेंज and specifically to me because ame kari shakiye we don't have a large man power 50 100 manas no to we know everybody moti company na kari shake but we have to personalize it we want to we should know about their need their culture their aptitude their gani var manas loyal hoy to 19 20 taka ochu vatu to chali jaye but apne ene manas ka ke we know we need the people we cannot work we need the people so particularly in my country me my company we would like to see that the people retains for a long time very good a vastu jamshed ji tata hai 200 varsh pehla jamshedpur ma implement kari chhe we have come full circle of how to treat the employee as a partner you have to learn from the tata group when they started tata jamshedpur and housing aap you transport aap you chokra nu education aap you schemes aap you लगन कराड़ाया ग्रोथ ऑपोर्चुनिटी ट्रेनिंग आप वाई विल द पर्सन लीव एनी आखी लाइफ एम्बिशन ही इज एबल टू सैटिस्फाई इन दी ऑर्गेनाइजेशन बट बिकॉज ही डजंट गेट दैट देन ही गोज फॉर अ लिटल मोर मनी टू बी एबल टू गेट दैट फेसिलिटी बिकॉज दिस कंपनी डीड नॉट गिव एम बहु मोटी सीख है थैंक यू वेरी मच सर थैंक यू सो सर वील कम टू द लास्ट पॉइंट एंड देन वी विल आस्क योर ऑल योर क्वेश्चन एवरी वन वी विल गो राउंड द सर्कल and we will ask each person to give one or two suggestions ke msme of the future ne mind ma rakhi ane kai navi schemes ke incentives apne vichari shake that can help msmes to accelerate their development sonaki sahib you are a master of this topic please help us with your insights and thoughts uh thank you uh, sunil bhai see i think two major questions have been touched up one that access to market another was uh to turn around of a persons 
you will surprise to know, sir, that uh, Minister of MSME has the solution for both the things. Oh, -ho. yeah. So access to market, we have two major schemes. Mm. One that is public procurement policy, through which we have made it mandatory for all central government ministries, oh, yeah. department undertakings, and PSUs, CP, central PSUs, to procure minimum 25 percent of the product and services they are for, of their annual procurement. Yeah, even, and in the case of startup, no history is to be uh, uh, seen hmm. because startup doesn't have the history, right? And we have given some more uh, benefit under that public procurement policy. Normally, government purchases happens through the L1 tender. L1, those who are putting the lowest get the tender. Hmm. But here, that's not that is not a case. Suppose Jamin buys a micro enterprise, hmm. and you are a large scale enterprise, and competing for this product, hmm. right? So he is a micro enterprise, he has quoted 115 rupees, mm. you have quoted 100 rupees. Mm. As far as the quality specifications are concerned, you, are, you both the people are at, at par, but the companies are at par. So in normal courses, you'll, you are supposed to get the order? Yes, full Be, order. Being L1? Yes, full so order. That is not a case. He will be asked first, this L1 is a non msc having quoted at this price, are you ready to supply? If he become ready to, he is agreed to ready to supply, he will get minimum 25% order quantity. And if, if the order is not splitable, he will get 100% order quantity. Oh, 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 this is very good here. <laughs> Under the public procurement policy, right, sir? So, through this, we have opened a huge market for the micro and small enterprises to become a partner with the government through supplying their product and services. Correct. Right. Ah. Another access to market. We have called one a scheme called procurement marketing support scheme, through which we are encouraging the micro and small enterprise to exhibit their capability by taking part in the exhibitions across the country. Uh, MDA. And we give 80 percent stall charges. In case of the A class cities, our assistance goes up to 1.5 lakh. You will surprise to know, sir, from the Ahmedabad office last year, in last accounting year, our average average uh, reimbursement. Because the every normally the government offices works uh, if we're uh, minus all these whole Saturday, Sunday, and all that. Our uh, average working comes to 250 something days Better. in a year. Our average is more than two units per day. Oh. Reimbursement. Right. So through which and th 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 uh, third third scheme is that for the international access, we have got a scheme called international cooperation okay. through which we are giving the access. We are we are mo motivating the MSCBs to have their presence, the access of the international market by participating <laughs> in the exhibitions, overseas exhibitions. So that market to access is there. Now another question was the turnaround of an, an employee. Sir, we have got a scheme called lean, lean manufacturing, through which we try to reduce all kind of waste. But the, the ultimate or the side effect of the scheme, I would say positive side effect of the lean implementation is that it creates a culture within the enterprise that everybody feels that it's my own enterprise. A Mari company, a Maru Sahas. And that is of that, because of that. Now the turnaround of the employee is reducing drastically. Yes. And we, the Minister of MSME, is paying 80% percentage of the consultancy charges of the lean consultant who is implementing the lean concept on your shop floor. And I would request AMA, Jamin Bai, who is a, happens to be in a uh, president of Gujarat Chemical Association also, to encourage the MSME MS units to take the benefit of this lean manufacturing scheme. On this 17th of June, there is going to be a big seminar. Of course, Solanki Sahib is also one of the participants. Only on competitiveness of MSME due to applying the lean manufacturing practices at AMA on 17 June evening at 6 p.m. I would request, and that is a very good scheme, as rightly said by him, for each and every manufacturer working in a cluster. Uh, regarding the uh, finance, that one of the Pranobai uh, has touched upon a little bit, that CGTMS scheme is there, sir, and the fee which is being charged by CGTME has been reduced drastically. The cap has been improved yes. considerably. So I would request all of you uh, to take the benefit of it. And I would request AMA 
even to host a, a clinic of the CGTMSE yeah, yeah. because there is lot many apprehensions. But the na, CGTMSE mo mardu nathi. He is a witness because being a, he was a chairman of the Gujarat Chamber uh, GCCI, and there is a committee headed by the uh, Reserve Bank of India which evaluate every every quarter the fund goes to the MSME from the financial institutions. Right, sir. So, I and there is a, there is a, uh, I think uh, time, uh, time is a constraint. We have got numbers of schemes. Yeah. And I would request to give, uh, sometimes to give us the opportunity uh, to have the detailed presentation on all the schemes and the policy which are meant for the benefit of MSME. And I would request the participant to take the uh, part, to participate in that, uh, the programs and to take the maximum benefit. And of course, we are available 24 by 7. So, thank you, sir. Scheme, scheme, mate, MSME, ma. जे प्रोग्रेसिव एमएसएमई छे ये तो फायदो ले ले छे बाकी बदा के छे सरकार नी साथे काम करता करता तेल निकली जाय छे आ सर यू विल हैव अ डिफरेंट एक्सपीरियंस विद माय ऑफिस यू विल हैव अ डिफरेंट एक्सपीरियंस विद आवर ऑफिस एमएसएमई मिनिस्टर ऑफ एमएसएमई अक्रॉस द कंट्री बिकॉज़ बिकॉज़ सर देयर कुड नॉट बी एनी नीड कोई पण इवन तुम्हारी नीड न होय जा मिनिस्टर ऑफ एमएसएमई तुम्हारी साथे प्रत्येक स्वतः परोक्ष रीते हाजर ना हो थैंक यू सर वी आर फ्रॉम इंसेप्शन तुम्हारा मगज में विचार आए कि भाई मैं कहीं करव त्या शुरू कर टील एक्सपोर्ट्स इफ यू हैव दी प्रॉब्लम ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी वी हेव टेक्नोलॉजी सेंटर्स देट सपोर्ट्स यू टू हैव योर टू डेवलप योर टेक्नोलॉजी और टू हैव टू कन्वर्ट योर आइडिया टू रियालिटी वी हेव गॉट इन्क्यूबेशन सेंटर्स थ्रू विच वी गीव थ्रू विच वी गीव दी ग्रांट इन एट शुक्ला साहब Uh, can correct me because one of our incubation centers yeah. is operating at EDI also. We give grant up to uh, 15 lakh rupees to convert an idea into reality. And after that, to have the commercial production, we are providing the seed capital through the incubation centers. Thank you. Thank you very much. So, your suggestions, Shukla ji. No, last one. Oh, and in fact, uh, some suggestions for MSME. Three points, basically. One that we already. Uh, incorporated as a part of uh, Dr. Prabhat Kumar Committee on uh -huh. MSMEs. Mm. And uh, not only we need to look at uh, the existing MSMEs, but also ensure supply of the newer MSMEs. And one model we says that is plug and play model. That industrial estates be developed with all the necessary compliances, permissions, etc., etc. Okay. And MSMEs can come and from next day onwards, they can, with bare, bare minimum facilities and permission, they can start. So one that I would like to highlight, maybe submit to you, you can do that. Second is that greening of MSMEs and technological upgradation or ecological viability, that also is an issue and lots of MSMEs continue to suffer. So that is the second side. Huh? And third, which uh, in Gujarat, Sunil Bhai, you are aware, we have been talking about uh, uh, industry academia coming closer. Though so we have been talking, but somehow, yeah, uh, still there is a lot of scope. If MSME can engage with the uh, university or institution or research laboratory in the vicinity and take their help by supporting them, and academia can also extend its research and the problem solution facilities for the MSMEs, somehow I think this will be one of the requirements that we need to look at it. Thank, Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. I think in the interest of time, uh, mm -hmm. could, could we directly go to Q&A? Let us start with the Dhurandar Shri Agarwal ji. It was very good uh, session. In fact, uh, HR is a core area of any organization. I have one uh, very pertinent question as uh, Pranav Bhai has said that adaptation of technology which is, which is going to ease out the work of uh, manpower. So, oh, and very rapidly technology is changing and AI is penetrating in all the organizations. So how to blend this AI in specifically in HR to increase their productivity and to provide the work-friendly atmosphere? I'll give you one small example of what we do in Zydus before requesting uh, the industrialists to come here. When we advertise one job in Zydus, we normally get 32 to 35,000 applications. So how do you keep screening screening? बत्रीस थ्री पात्रीस हजार मानसो एक एडवर्टिजमेंट नो रिस्पांस आवे तो ये मत चूताई जाइए तो पची रेक्रूटमेंट क्या रहता है अत्यारे हमारी पासे पच्चीस ही त्रीस हजार मानसो नहीं संख्या चे एट्रिशन रेट एट वन टाइम वाज ट्वेंटी परसेंट कारण के इंडस्ट्री वाज ग्रोइंग नॉट इनो मैनपावर वाज अवेलेबल 
એટલે મારી ઝાયડસમાંથી જઈને ઇન્ટાસમાં જાય સેમ ફેલો વિલ ધેન ગો ધ ઇન્ટાસ ઇન્ટાસ પર્સન વિલ ગો એવી રીતે મેરી ગો રાઉન્ડ થાય ને બધાના પગાર વધી જાય અને ઇન્ડસ્ટ્રીનું લો લો એટલે પછી નક્કી કર્યું કે આપણે આના કંઈક પ્રોબ્લેમ સોલ્વ કરીએ એન્ડ દેર ફોર ઇટ વોઝ એગ્રીડ દેટ વી વિલ યુઝ ટેકનોલોજી એન્ડ વી વિલ નોટ ટેક પીપલ ફ્રોમ ઇચ અધર એટલે એ જરાક કંટ્રોલમાં આવ્યું બટ ધ પ્રોબ્લેમ ઇઝ દેર ઇઝ અ શોર્ટેજ ઓફ મેન ક્વોલિફાઈડ મેન પાવર એટલે ધેન ઇચ ઇન્ડસ્ટ્રી ધેન ટુક વન યુનિવર્સિટી એન્ડ સેટ વી વિલ ડેવલપ અ કોર્સ એન્ડ કરિક્યુલમ વેર અવર સ્ટાફ વીલ ગો એન્ડ ટીચ ઇન દેટ યુનિવર્સિટી એન્ડ ધેન સ્લોલી સ્લોલી દેટ એક્સપેન્ડેડ તો જે વીસ ટકા હતું એ હવે ચાર ટકા થયું છે પણ ચાર ટકા કરીએ ત્રીસ હજારના ચાર ટકા તો રોજના લગભગ અઢીસોથી ત્રણસો માણસો અમારે રેક્રુટ કરવાના થાય છે ઇટ ઇઝ નોટ પોસિબલ ટુ ડુ ઇટ હ્યુમનલી ઓલ મશીન્સ આર ડુઈંગ ઇટ નાઉ ફાઇનલી તેત્રીસ હજારમાંથી આવે એમાંથી દસ ટોપ જે લિસ્ટ છે દેટ કમ્સ ઓન ધ ટેબલ ઓફ ધ મેનેજર તો ધીસ ઇઝ હાઉ એઆઈ ઇઝ હેલ્પિંગ વન બિગ પ્રોબ્લેમ ઓફ રેક્રુટમેન્ટ એવી રીતે દેર આર મેની યુનો દેર આર સિક્સ ઓર સેવન આસ્પેક્ટ ઓફ એચ આર વિચ આઈ એમ શ્યોર આર કે બજાજી પ્રકાશભાઈ વિલ થ્રો સમ લાઇટ ઓન વુડ યુ લાઈક ટુ સ્પીક અબાઉટ ઇટ યા પ્લીઝ સો વોટ આઈ બિલીવ નાવ ઇટ ઇઝ આઈ થિંક એઆઈ ડેફિનેટલી દેર આર મેની ટૂલ્સ આર દેર બટ અપાર્ટ ફ્રોમ દેટ એટીએસ કેન હેલ્પ સો હેલ્પ યુ આઉટ દેર આર સો મેની એટીએસ ટૂલ્સ આર અવેલેબલ અર્લિયર ઇટ હેઝ બીન સીન સો વી હેવ એડોપ્ટેડ ધીસ એટીએસ ટેકનોલોજી સિન્સ ટુ થાઉઝન્ડ ફિફ્ટીન ના એટીએસના વિશે થોડુંક જણાવો યા સો એટીએસ ટેન્સ ફોર એપ્લિકેશન ટ્રેકિંગ સોફ્ટવેર સો ઇટ 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 કેન કમ અપ વિથ many other let's say the support with the uh, alignment with the ai tools also so you can find out any ats into the market available and that ats can help you out to the filter the applications you can reach out thousands of applications uh, ap- applicants at a one single click only so you can set your criteria okay you required minimum 50 percentage or 70 percentage in 10th grade whatever whatever your parameters it is i'm just saying general and accordingly that ATS can filter the applications and can you can store the data for future references also so let's say if i'm talking about your example mr dr mani so let's say if you are recruiting the nurses so do you have the data of the old nurses who have worked into the jivraj mehta hospital 10 years ago yes. okay but it may not be available on ats so now just think about you can use the internal references if you have the ats on handy tool if you have the all the data of let's say 150 or 250 or 1000 nurses of the jivraj mehta hospital only i'm just giving your name it's a just suggestion and then if you click on the one single button they all receive the whatsapp they all receive the messages or they all receive the mail at the same time so you can understand how quickly it can be done so i believe that ats and erp tool it's the nowadays it's very very important and now what we have observed in recruitment we are doing recruitment people are not ready to talk i think now non verbal communication specifically chat and sms is it's very very uh, emerging into no one wants to talk i mean when we call no but they are ready to reply on whatsapp and sms immediately so that that change is happening so even now our task is coming up let's say it's not data nowadays frankly speaking we have to identify who is actually possess the skill set which our client is looking for so now data many many clients share us sir this is my nokri's id and password can you could you please help me out to get the correct data that's it so everyone has the data but the point is to identify the right talent and uh, approach them and to acquire them for the company that is so we'll take some two more questions last one two yes yes that's that gentleman and one more ha ah, please sorry sorry sir so um uh, when he said that so i was coming to that when you were talking about the whatsapp um, uh, it companies ni andar maximum humne takleef pade che when people actually lip sync while interviewing so the tools the ai tools is able to actually help us out by saying that this is lip syncing going on somebody else is answering while that fellow sitting there is not the correct fellow uh, especially i'm very sorry uh, don't take it otherwise but we have faced this in hyderabad and bangalore So Ahmedab- as, as an Ahmedabad company, we have got satellite offices virtually at around 12 odd places. Uh, and that's where uh, virtual hiring happens. When I say virtual, they are sitting on the other side. We are using the video conferencing tool on our side. So there is this, at the back end, there is this uh, bot as we call it. The robots, no, no short forms, a bot. it is running there and it, it keeps on giving alert to the interviewer or the hr guys at our end 
that probable cause of lip sync uh, or uh, there is a failure in terms of video. So while we are seeing the photo, they do it so smartly. It might, the, the fellow might, we, it, he might appear that he is sitting there, but it is actually someone else who is answering and that it is just a photo that they are using to kind of deceive us that it is he there. Wow. So to that level it has gone. So that's one. Um, secondly, uh, psychometric test is a must. What we have realized in our field, in fact, in everybody, in every other domain also, beyond a certain level, I am sure Sunil Bhai, you would agree, uh, beyond a certain level of profile that you might be hiring, I am not talking of line 1, line 2, line 3, the soft floor fellows, but probably L4, L5, L6, where the decision making is involved to a large extent and it directly affects the company's overall operations. Psychometric test is genuinely a must and uh, the data that he's talking in terms of WhatsApp or whatever you are getting, we see to it that not only it is fed to the tool, tool filters out whether this is an ap probably an apt person or not, and then we norm uh, usually go for psychometric. So it's, it's, it's genuinely a uh, uh, suggestion which has really helped us and all of you should look at it. One thing at MSME that I have realized is that I know, I am not But let's not get lured. While you are on a growth path, jetli For example, psychometric test, while I am hiring A, B and C level of guys, the topmost three, then I am going to go for psychometric. Because it directly affects my company's operations. So, ek muddo che. Ane tamaro ek point of the PPPP. We go by the philosophy of people first, business always. As a company and as a group, it is always people first, business always. Perfect. So that, that's how it is. Thank you. Thank you very much for Thank your insights. Very good. Thank you. Yes, sir. Hello. Hi. Uh, my name is Jay and I'm a young entrepreneur building a startup. And in many situations, I have noticed that entrepreneurs like us tend to be involved in small tasks that ideally should be delegated to our employees. So given that fact, how do we create an environment that lets our employees take charge, you know, excel in their roles and without having to be in constant supervision of them? Anybody, you know, Pranav Bhai has also started in exactly yeah, through yeah. that. So I believe uh, it requires proper induction training. I mean, without induction, nowadays I have faced, let's say, very few MSMEs are doing this induction. So let's say if you are hiring someone, maybe it's any, any, at any level, maybe back office, sales coordinator or any profile. So you should have proper induction policy. It may take two days to ten days. You should have a clarity of the job roles, what that person has to perform. And accordingly, you can set your expectation. Okay, this is the expectation from you and it requires hand-holding support also. Do not expect if someone is joining even experienced candidate and from the second and third day, he will become, I mean, you, you just have to set the, set the command and he will perform. No, not at all. It takes time. I mean, it takes time, even any person to set with the company culture, company's ideologies. It takes at least one month. I believe minimum time is one month. Minimum one month to understand the culture of the company, the working methodology of the company and then that person start delivering the values. And every time uh, the feedback system, real time feedback system is also important. So uh, it can be from both the side. You can also share your feedback and uh, you can also ask the feedback from the employees whether he or she is happy with that job role or whether he, he or she is performing that way or not. So I think induction and feedback system will help you out. Right, Dick. Because see, many of the MSME, I, when, when I was working in the soft floor, even after interacting with this, uh, this journey also, what I'm seeing, the, one of the issue is the, the uh, lack of empowering. Right. We are not giving the, we are not empowering and expecting. So right kind of, right degree of empowering is also must. 
सो जो सोलंकी जी ये बात करी हम ना देट काइंड ऑफ गेट्स सब्सटेंशिएटेड वेरी मच वेन ही मैंशन बजाज जी जस्ट मैंशन देट वेन यू हैव दिस क्लियर कट जॉब रोल डिफाइंड एंड वेन इट इज इन द इंडक्शन इज डन इन अप्रोप्रिएट वे एंड देन यू अलाउ हिम टू वर्क इन दैट हिम और हर इन दैट वे देन येस बोथ दी एस्पेक्ट्स गेट्स कवर्ड वन मोर थिंग इन आर केस इन दैक्नोलॉजी आई डोंट नो विच स्टार्ट यू आर ए टेक्नोलॉजी स्टार्ट अप टेक्स स्टार्ट राइट ओके सो दिस इंडक्शन एंड देन गेटिंग एट्यून टू द कंपनी is not going to be done in one month also believe me my friend because on one side you are take asking him to deliver as far as the uh, tech or whatever uh, task that has been delegated to him on that aspect and on the other side he is also supposed to work from the company strategy's point of view right probably is a part of your project that you will be defining therefore this learning curve is not one month according to me it's, it's at least three months and you will have to give that space and be and while carrying out this uh, feedback mechanism don't go for town hall town hall kills the feedbacks it has to be one to one town hall actually is there for in terms of uh, delivering a talk or making people aware about certain philo philosophy or the strategy or a policy that you want to impart to the company at large or your colleagues at large while feedback has to be one to one always and it has to be true and honest feedback i hope that would help you thanks right anybody else last class going going gone okay. jamin bhai <laughs> my question <laughs> see it's I, i'm not in here to ask anything but i'm here to thank you all experts je ardha divas ni session thai i think it's too small a session for a such a big subject and too small a time to give the maximum big message for to the msme but yes uh, under the banner of dr jamin was msme chair along with ama we will continue many many of the such activity i'll give you a small thing to know about it i am also having a chair of dr jamin was msme chair we have started the msme clinic and that clinic the incepting je hoy koi ne taklif hoy see msme madho padi gyo hoy apne jem doctor pase sesse taklif thai to jare ye to dawa mali jaye par jare madho j padi gyo jo recover thavana scope sad na hoy tyare apne doctor pase jaiye to either he will hospital ma dakhal kare so that clinic concept which we have started as a msme clinic under this jamin was a msme chair and it is working fantastic sunil bhai i'll show you how many problems and issues we are solving so this is one thing and uh, friends vadhare to nahi ke to because ke time has gone but i am really thankful to dr sunil pare for wonderfully conducting today's seminar and he needs a big round of applause from all of us uh, the experts like mr solanki dr sunil shukla prakash bajaji and my dear friend pranav pandya has tried their best tried their best what they have the best but in a very short note and we will take their uh, view points again in a better forum also but ek vastu bahut clear che aaj e aa subject jetlo sehlo lage che kale ana thi vadhare agro thai competition itli vatti jay che अरे एट बढ़ा कॉम्प्लायसीस भी बता जाए एम एस एम ई सीकनेस की बात करूँ तो छा छ महीना में तीस हज़ार एम एस एम ई यूनिट क्लॉज थी गया है एंड धीस इज अ वेरी सीरियस सो आप सौ बधाए एवरीबडी बिकॉज वी देट इज द रीजन अनलॉकिंग ग्रोथ एंड सस्टेनेबिलिटी जे कई इश्यू एम एस एम ई ना हो एने के रीते रिजोल्व कर एमएसएमई ने कई रीते गाइड कर बेस पर आ सैमिनार रखो है एम ए ने आभारी छे अपने तब सौ मोटी संख्या में अँ आने बदाने सांभ्या समझा इम्प्लिमेंट कर सो कोईपण इश्यू होजेशन हो तो जनवशो वी वील ऑर्गेनाइज 
दा ऐसे में ग्रोथ सीरीज से ए हमें ए में हम करें दिस इज सीरीज नंबर सिक्स मार्केटिंग ब्रांडिंग इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर टेक्नोलॉजी सोशल मीडिया बदा ऊपर अतर करी आ छठी सीरीज से विल कंटिन्यू दिस सीरीज एंड गिविंग बेस्ट ऑफ द नॉलेज एंड आइडियाज टू एम एस एम ई थैंक यू वेरी मच